Let's go to Proverbs chapter 11, verse 31. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth. Much more the wicked and the sinner. So what is this saying? So what does recompense mean? Let's look it up. To give something to by way of compensation as for a service rendered or damage incurred to pay for. So what does wicked mean? Let's look it up. Evil or morally wrong. Extremely unpleasant. So what does sinner mean? A person who transgresses against divine law by committing an immoral act or acts. So I believe <laughs> perhaps wicked and sinner means the same thing. Okay. So in my own words, what this means, and I believe this to be true, when a person chooses to persecute or do wrong to real servants of God, so real Christians, those persecutors, those enemies, I guess you can say, will reap what they sow. Much more the wicked and the sinner. So they will reap what they sow more than what they put out. I believe that. Okay. And also, I believe this is saying too, when the righteous gets persecuted or done wrong in some way or form, they will get paid back for the evil that happened to them. So for instance, let's say I go and cut a person's tire and that person is a Christian. From my understanding of what this is saying, more bad things, <laughs> more bad things will happen to me because I am silly enough to do wrong to a real Christian. And that Christian, from my understanding of what I am comprehending from this, that Christian is going to be paid back in some way or form for the evil that I have done to that person. So, <laughs> how can a servant of God lose? As you can see here, and if I am saying it right, how can a servant of God lose? How can a righteous person lose? I don't believe they can. Now, if that person chooses to retaliate and do evil back to their enemies, yes, I believe they can lose. But also, 
I don't believe they would be righteous anymore. <laughs> so whether your enemies are attacking you in some type of way, whether you are doing good deeds for people, I don't believe you can lose. Even if a person burns down your home, even if a person robs you and breaks into your home and steal all your things, I don't believe you can lose. Yes, you may have lost your house, your car, and some stuff, but in the end, I don't believe that you can lose. Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth. So this is saying that, from my understanding, this is saying that you are going to get paid back while you are on earth. So how can you lose? Any evil that is coming to you, from my understanding of this, you can't lose. This reminds me of the story of Job. Ouch. Of Job. When so many bad things happened to Job. And in the end, I believe he received twice as much or something like that. <laughs> How can you lose? So, it is wise to serve God. It is wise to always follow the rules and regulations of the Bible because I don't believe you can lose if you do. A person contacted me and I guess wrote me some things some people are doing to him or her. And I wrote back and I believe in so many words in that message I was saying continue to treat those people well and pray for them. What if that person chooses to do that and not retaliate against those people wrongfully? How can that person lose? I don't believe that person can lose. Even if, man, even if those people do harm toward that person, like much harm, that person, in my opinion, that person, man, that person, if that person chooses to continue to do right, in my opinion, that person can only win. So who cares? Who is talking to you or talking about you? Who cares who is doing you wrong? All you have to do is continue serving God. And from my understanding, <laughs> the evil being done to you, you are going to be paid back for it. I believe that from what this is saying, she'll be recompensed in the earth. Okay. To give something by way of compensation. So in some way or form, you are going to be paid back for what you had to endure or have to endure from my understanding of the scripture. So now that you know this, why do you want to stay a sinner? Why do you want to do silly sins 
and lose. Why would you want that? Because if you believe that you are gaining by doing evil, as you can see here, Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth, much more the wicked in the sinner. So this is saying, from my understanding, that the evil that you are doing, you are going to have to pay for it. I believe that. <laughs> so, I guess some people may say that living for God is hard, but look how hard it is to be a sinner. <laughs> you are actually paying for it in some type of way. I believe that. <laughs> so, it is not wise in all ways, in all ways, to become or stay a sinner. Because from my understanding, you can't win. You are losing. I believe that. So let me stop here. Please listen. Please. God bless you.